Good morning, everybody. Randy Go Trout Magnet Man with you here today. Uh, Going to give you a channel update. Uh, it's a few days after Christmas. Uh, been without internet uh, since Christmas morning due to the uh, explosion I had in Nashville. Got internet back, uh, I guess, yesterday. Yeah, sometime yesterday, I guess it was. Uh, and uh, so I thought I'd do uh, a channel update. Uh, Still not able to get out and fish. Uh, Got to go back to the doctor on 5 January, hoping he can tell me how you can go bank fish and go do something, because believe you me, I need to get out and fish. But uh, all I've been doing is looking for gear. Uh, unfortunately, in Japan, due to COVID, uh, a lot of gear you want, you can't source. Uh, or if you can source it, the, the shipping, you can't get them to ship it to you because they will only use EMS shipping. EMS shipping is not working to the States right now. So it's just going to be quite a few more months till all of this gets settled out uh, where you, you know, for, for everybody, for everything, I guess. But anyway, for years, uh, I've been reading about stream trout rods. Uh, in Japan, they have what's called a stream rod, which is used to cast spinners, cranks, spoons for trout and streams, as the, as the rod is named. It's a stream rod. Uh, area trout rods are used in their uh, area lakes. Uh, they're used to catch big trout, uh, but in flat water, no current. Uh, area trout rods are known, most of them, especially the high end ones, are known to be super sensitive rods. Stream trout rods, uh, I don't know how sensitive they are since this is my first purchase of one. I'm going to test it out. I bought this rod to... Uh, fish uh, for trout, throw cranks. Uh, I haven't done that in years and years. I used to do it all the time. Uh, you can use an area trout rod for that, but it's not It's not ideal for that. It's just it's not, not in the river. It's just not ideal. So I decided, okay, I'm going to order me a stream trout rod so when I go to the Little Red River out in Arkansas, the White River, which I plan on doing a lot this summer and fall, hopefully, if things go well, I want to take a good stream trout rod to throw the uh, micro cranks, uh, the uh, Timon uh, vibration baits on the river. Uh, just want a rod that's, that's designed for that. It's designed to catch uh, nice sized trout and current. So I decided, okay, I want a good rod. Might as well start out with a, a top of the line. And that's what I did. I got a Tenru Reyes Spectra, or Tenru Raz Spectra, Reyes, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, the six foot one inch LL model. Now I can only assume, and I don't know, and I need to uh, send an email to the gentleman I bought the rod from out of New York. Uh, what LL stands for? I am assuming it stands for light, light. Now I don't know that. One of the L's I, I think most assuredly stands for light. What the other L stands for, I don't know, but I'm, I'm thinking LL because they sell a rod uh, that's LML. Uh, then they sell a rod above this one, the seven foot one model, that's rated ML, which I'm assuming that's medium light. Uh, then they sell a rod um, above that one that's rated MMH, which I'm assuming that means medium to medium heavy. Then they sell an eight foot uh, two inch rod that's medium. So I, I don't know, I need to contact Chris and find out just what those designations mean. But what I can tell you about this rod, this rod is a work of art. Now I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this. Uh, I don't have a lot of light here. That's Karen Barwood, which is a pretty uh, high dollar wood. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. The knurling in it, uh, it's, it's just gorgeous. The cork on this rod, it's, it's, it's far superior to any cork I have on any other rods. I can only assume they use a much higher grade cork here. Then you have the bar wood down here uh, on the butt ring down here. Uh, this rod, un unlike a lot of Japanese uh, fishing rods, has a hook keeper right here. I was glad to see that. Uh, this rod has the Fuji Titanium Torzite Guides to help hold down the weight and to eliminate what the Japanese refer to as blurring, which gives you greater uh, casting accuracy uh, when you're casting. This rod is, and I don't like to put rods together in the house, but I'll do it from time to time. This rod is rigid. 
uh, it's 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 a tubular rod, but it's it's a rigid rod. You can see that. I mean, it's 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 nothing at all like a Mabayru rod. Uh, I tell you what, it's it's it, the the rigidity of it uh, compares to some heavier aging rods I got. But I am really looking forward to testing this rod out. Uh, I cannot express to you how gorgeous this rod is. The blank, it's a gloss blank. Uh, it looks black, but it's actually a deep, deep violet. You have to get out in the sun to see that. Uh, but it is an absolutely gorgeous rod. I mean, this this thing when you pick it up, it just you know it just screams trout all over it. This is the kind of rod you would think uh, you're going to use on a trout stream. Uh, I have uh, uh, some cranks coming. A friend is uh, sending me some. Uh, uh, Japanese cranks out of Georgia. It's very kind of him to do so, to try with this rod. Uh, I have some cranks already that I'm going to try over in Normandy. Uh, some of the trout magnet cranks, uh, which they, they're pretty good. Uh, they have treble hooks on them, which I don't like, but I got I can change the hooks out. Uh, but fishing, I don't want to fish a $10 crank at Normandy because you're going to lose it. You're going to get hung up. Uh, the $4 trout uh, magnet cranks, okay, I, I still don't want to lose $4, but I can afford to lose $4 better than I can afford to lose 10 um, and I am sure I will try this rod out twitching a trout magnet. The, this rod is called the Twitching Custom, uh, which is, you know, to me, okay, it's got the name in it, so let's see how it, how it, twi uh, how it does for twitching a trout magnet. Uh, Going to try it out. Uh, chomping at the bit to get out and try this rod out. Now, river or stream trout rods generally speaking, are not anywhere near as sensitive as area trout rods. But I'm kind of intrigued with this rod. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty darn sensitive. One of the reasons being uh, the uh, graphite content of this rod is 95%, and it has 5% glass. Now, a lot of your aging rods, your area trout rods, they'll have 99% graphite and a tenth of percent of the glass in it. So, uh, but I'm thinking um, this rod ought to be pretty darn sensitive, to tell you the truth, with the Torzite guides and the, and the high graphite content. Uh, the rod weighs, uh, let's see here, the rod weighs 74 grams. Uh, and I, I'm going to assume a lot of that weight comes from this handle. Uh, but boy, it, it is a thing of beauty, and I'm, uh, I'm really anxious to try it out. Uh, I've already put some reels on it. All the reels I have, the Luvius 2000, the uh, 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 Certec 2000, uh, the Shimano Twin Pyre 2000 that I have, it pairs up well with it as far as balance goes. I put the 1000 series uh, Daiwas on it, uh, the FW models, the old 2015 Luvius model, uh, and uh, I put the uh, 1000 series uh, Revo MGX State on it. It balances well with this. Uh, I call this an heirloom rod, folks. You're going to, if you have one of these, you're going to take care of it and you're going to hand this down to maybe one day a grandchild. I mean, it's just uh, that kind of rod. Uh, it's something, you know, uh, you really enjoy looking at. Uh, you enjoy showing it to other people. Uh, and I'm sure, I'm sure, with Tin Roo's reputation, I'm sure it's going to fish well. Uh, Y'all have never seen me fish cranks much on the channel, and uh, I used to do it years ago, and I have some uh, fantastic cranks that I've never really tried. I've got some from Lucky Craft. Uh, I got a, a whole box full of Lucky Craft cranks, good cranks, uh, that I really want to try, uh, but I just never really had the correct rod to do it with, uh, but now I do. But anyway, folks, just wanted to touch base with everybody. I appreciate the comments. Appreciate the get well emails, get well wishes. I haven't responded to the comments lately. It's in, uh, I'm just uh, uh, chugging along on recovery here, uh, making my walks, uh, trying to, to get better every day, which I am getting better every day. It's just a slow process, uh, just a slow process. And uh, you get tired. You get tired pretty easy. But... Uh, Hopefully before long, I'm going to be back out, uh, get the boat in the water, uh, and get to fishing. <laughs> I tell you, I sure miss it. 
I hope all of you are doing well. I hope all of you had a great Christmas. Hope all of you are healthy. Uh, better days are ahead, folks, for everybody. Better days are ahead. So until next time, sore lip them all, and life is good.